right there we go so um thanks for joining my very first live um i've got a few things planned and we're just going to craft along so if you're crafting then um you know please i want to keep looking over here because this here is where my comments are so um because that's where my screen is so if i'm keeping turning around that's why um so i've got a few things planned i've kind of started with what i was doing um and i thought we'd just go kind of go from there i haven't really planned um planned it out an awful lot so uh it was just something that came into my head earlier this morning so i thought i'd give it a go i'm going to be using my new dies and um my new stamps as well to incorporate everything into that so um yes so lovely so now the sound is good and hopefully we can get crafting so i'm going to just make this me a little bit smaller in the corner here so that you can see a little bit more of what's going on and um we'll get going so what i thought we would do today is i'd kind of like i had an idea in my head about what i wanted to do so i thought well i've always do i always do memory books so i thought well let's do something different i've never tried doing um a load of pockets so i thought that'd be quite a nice thing to do but then i thought well, there's a lot of fussy cutting and things like that and i don't know how much time we've got so i thought right well what i thought we'd do is do some little booklets so i've kind of done two already just with the cardstock and put on some magnets as well and then what i thought i would do i'm not sure whether i'm going to use put a use it and put them in a box or i might make up a little um like file type box where you can slip them in, in and out like tiny mini little photo albums so that was my sort of play around what i was going to do then i thought right, well, how can i incorporate my new dies and i wanted to use them slightly different to what we normally use a tag die so i kind of come up with this now these are the lovely papers from craft o'clock and uh, sarah i know you've got these haven't you so um these th these ones are really really nice so i thought well what i'll do so i've cut my tag out of the cardstock and the pattern paper and put some magnets underneath but then put it on like a little swivel um, and then this has got acetate underneath now i was going to then use that as a pocket so please excuse what you're going to see because it is i've had to take some uh, away and i haven't finished it so what i thought i would do is i actually have it as a flap so excuse this bit here because this um will be covered when we come to do it so i thought uh, a more of a flap would be a really nice thing to do and then when um the magnets then get in place it snaps that tag back in now what i am going to do is i'm just going to move you up here onto my other screen up here um, and then I hopefully will be able to see um, your comments there we go let's put you up there. there we go then I will be able to see all your comments coming up so hi Sue <laughs> hi again Sarah uh, lovely lovely to see you all and um, joining me on my very first live um, I'm not sure how good it's going to be, but, um, you know, just craft along. I just thought it'd be nice just to be able to chat away and craft with other people. So, um, oh, I'm so sorry, Sue. Um, yeah, I will put it on the group, so hopefully um, you'll be able to watch it there. I'm not sure if Savannah, I might just type on here and just ask Savannah if she will um, post it in the group for me. Savannah, yeah. would you post this in the group for me? Lovely, thank you very much, that's brilliant. Okay, so we'll get crafting now. If you want to craft along with me, I will tell you what I'm going to use. So with that, I used a um, just some 12 by 12 black cardstock. Um, I've had this uh, for a while and um, I needed the extra length to create the actual folder so let me just move things out of the way 
putting in my trusty trimmer i love this trimmer i really do so with the 12 by 12 we're not actually going to cut it we're going to use everything that we can with the card stock so first of all we're just going to do some score lines so i'm hoping you can see there we go so the first score line is going to be at six and a quarter okay and then the second one is going to be at five and three quarters okay like so so you're going to create a half an inch gusset in between your cut that's going to create your folder so we then turn it round at 90 degrees and we're going to score that again all the way along at six inches like so so you should be end up with something like that like a plus sign so i'm only going to fold this first the, the single score line first and just burnish that down that's nice and creased so next what we're going to do is i'm going to then doesn't matter which side um i am going to then score another line at two inches okay remember to score don't cut now i'm scoring this along the same side as the single score line like so and then when we fold and burnish that over we will then end up with a sort of flap so it'd be a little tuck tuck top i'll get my word out a little tuck spot in there like so but before we then start to um, put it all together and use the tape and things i need to just cut some of this off so the side that you've got the two inch score on we're going to cut down to the single score line here so i'm just looking making sure um hi jill hi everybody sorry i i can't see my um comments all the time so i will look up um periodically um so uh, this is um i think this is a 250 gsm it's probably a little bit thick than what i would you normally use be because it's just what i had in my stash but yeah this is probably about a 250 but you probably would get away with a 220 or if you wanted to go a bit higher up you could do um just make sure you're using really good cardstock um so that you you'll get some nice creases so i'm going to just line up this score line with the um gutter in my trimmer i'm just going to put that there so i know not to go any further than that that's just my scoring blade so i'm going to score down to that line and then i'm going to do the next line as well and i'm going to scroll down to that line like so and you will then end up with something like that now we'd have to get rid of this now you can use your trimmer and, and cut that off but i'm just going to use my scissors and just trim that bit off there just so that it's level then with that bottom edge so I can get away with moving this out of the way now. So we're left with something that looks a little bit like that. So these are going to come up like so. And that's then going to create our folder. Now you can do, if you want to now, use your double-sided tape and glue to keep them cut um, closed. But the only thing with that is, is you're going to lose a little bit of your pocket. And that's fine. So I'm going to use my tape just to secure the edges. But I've just remembered what I have forgot to do. Just open them up again. Now you don't have to do this. But I'm going to. Because what it does, it helps the pocket keep closed. So I'm just going to run a single line of double-sided tape just along that bottom edge of that pocket and 
just burnish that down like so and just take them off like that and like that I've got my little ice cream tub here that I'm going to put all my rubbish in so what I'm going to do now is I'll fold this one so I'm just going to fold this over now I'm only going to go from the bottom so that I can make sure I've got no air in there so push it down and that way you'll also get a nice straight edge as well and again here a nice straight edge like so and then that is then your two sides of your folder nearly done now I haven't folded these lines yet but I will do in a moment so lifting that the flaps up we're now just going to secure these two edges now that is pretty secure now with that tape along the bottom but things will fall out oh hi Kez oh that's okay don't worry I had a lot of trouble getting my sound ready and stuff like that it was a uh, it was a bit of a nightmare but uh, gremlins in the works so with um, this all I'm going to do is put my tape um, along that edge and then just burnish that down like so make sure you burnish it well and get rid of any air bubbles or creases that you may have and then you can either chop off this bit here but I'm actually not going to I'm going to bring it up uh, and around to the back like so and I'll do the other side here I hope everybody's had a lovely Sunday today um, I've had a really nice Sunday just very relaxing just chilling out okay so with this side I will cut that bottom bit off like so push that down and then just bring that over and around there we go push that up so that is one of your sides closed and then you've still got that full width of that pocket to use right let me just move you down because i'm not there we go i can see you now so that's your one side so coming on to do this side and again we just do the same thing i'll do this side first as soon as i'm over that side and just chop that bit off, turn it round and push that down I've got a little bit of an overhang here and just chop that bit off now it's anybody like me, I had these scissors um, were meant for just using for my um, ribbons and material and then they eventually they slowly and slowly they I've ended up using them for paper but I've also got another set here but to differentiate I've actually left the cover on these ones so that even my daughter knows that if she uses the scissors um, not to use these ones because we all know not to use dressmaking scissors for paper so I'm just closing up that last side and I'm going to go all the way with this because I'm going to take this around the other side like so so I'm going to bring that up and around and I'm just going to push this over that those scored edges and I'll bring this foot around here like so now if that's going to annoy you that you've got this bit here let me just move you down a bit I can't there we go that's a bit better um, if this bit here is going to annoy you because it's got no tape on you can just put that extra little bit of tape there but again once you've got it covered you won't see it it will be hidden so now I'm going to just very gently score them score lines again so 
like so turn it over and we do the other side like so there we are so then that is one of your file folders uh, done and you've got your um, half an inch gusset there and so that way you can put loads of different things in here now using the tape as well it does strengthen that spine as well um, so if you wanted to this is another thing that you could do if you wanted to you could use this part as your spine and stick it into or onto a book but then make your next um, signature um, bigger so that would fit in the middle so you could then have that as a book book as well so those are there now this on here I'm just going to lift these up because I am going to put um, a little or am I not I just want to check something quickly um, use this one here so I don't know right no I'm not going to right what I'm thinking of doing I was going to put a bit of tape underneath now if I had somewhere in here oh I have no I haven't I thought I might have had a one eighth of an inch of that. here we go no I thought I had a really tiny piece but never mind I could run um, a line a bead of glue under there and that would then keep that nice and it would really give it a bit more stability rather than just having it like that because what I want to do is put my tag a, a tag underneath there like so I'm just checking see that one will be too big but that one would fit just nicely so I'm gonna just go for it if it doesn't work it doesn't work it's only a bit of card at the end of the day so again I'm just gonna put my tape on but I'm gonna try and just line that tape up with that tape at the bottom just cut that bit off now, and I just need to cut a little snippet there because that's going to go underneath and then this is going to go around to the back like so there we go so that's one side done so we can do this side as well I'll keep going to look on the time so has anybody been doing any crafting today it's always good to do some crafting on bank holidays we've got quite a few this week this um, month haven't we we've quite been quite spoiled i think so there we go just burnish that down now if anybody's wondering why i have some tape around my tool the reason i have the tape around there is because these teflon tools i find them really slippy in my hand so to get away from that i've i just added that tape and it just gives that little bit more of um a grip oh have you sarah oh, emergency mini uh, small ab ah you have to put some um pictures up let let me see what they look like that would be lovely to see them so just doing the last one here now again just take that bit up turn that over and then that is the workings out of your book um, your sort of little booklet done now um, on the ones that I did here um, I've put a little closure on them here uh, like so so that you can open and close them now 
if you didn't want to do something like a, I'm going to call this like a buckle um, closure you could do a belly band that would work really well or you could put some ribbon that would be really nice as well or you can just leave them um, plain at, at, and you know just open like that now I've just seen what I've done here and that needs to go underneath just snip that bit I didn't snip it and it's kind of like stopped there we go that's better so with this I will do a little bucket a bucket a little buckle uh, closure oh you, ti oh, you tidied your craft room oh yeah I had a little bit of tidy up so today oh yes uh, Rosie again yeah, you must put some of the photos up some of the ones you put up were lovely really made me jealous Oh, I wonder what sort of album um, are you going to make? Are you going to make a really big one? Oh, and you probably want some ice papers, Rosie, as well. That would be really good. Um, maybe something like the Cosmos or um, the other one that Stamperia did. That would They would look lovely. Right, so let me get my trusty trimmer out again so that I can cut my border not border my little closure so the closure is two inches by um, so once you've done two inches um, put it on again so onto your trimmer again so you've got um, it's lined up with the two inches again but don't cut I want you to score so score at two inches Move it down to two and a half and score again and then go to four and a half and cut. Okay, and then that's your um, buckle closure. Now I'm going to just round the corners on this one and I'm just using a medium sized corner rounder there, so that's that one get my things right fingers crossed that my glue is not gunked up again now I'm going to buy it but if you want to you can measure it um, this is um, six inches so you would obviously want it at two and two but all I'm going to do is just buy eye and I've put it underneath so it goes on the back and I've just lined it up with the first score line there so I've put some tape in the actual um, folder just so that I've got something for when I put my magnet on oh hi Deirdre how are you so so I've so that I've got then it's a bit more stable so get my magnets, they stick to everything don't they and these aren't the ones I want, the big ones. So if, I'm going to just use two and if you've watched any of my tutorials I, um, I'd like to put just use my tape just to secure them first like so and I'll probably cut a bit too much so I'm putting this underneath the um, closure like so use a bit of off cut there so get my other magnet and I'm just going to let the magnets do its thing so it just finds the, the actual pull of the magnet then I'm just going to line it all up and then push it over now I may need a bigger piece a bigger there we go that's a bit better so push it down when you think when you've got it in where you want it to go and then just push that magnet down now that it's not done it as I wanted it so try it again 
There we are. Ah, that's better. And then just push it down. There we go. Just take that out and then I can just burnish this down. Like so. Oh, are they really nice? Oh, yeah, I've seen some of the new Minte papers, Jill. They are lovely. They are really, really nice. I've still got the other ones that I've not used yet. Shock horror. If you saw the other side of my craft room, it is... Yeah. I did. I think I showed uh, Sarah the other night uh, the other state of my craft room. Shocking. So, that is then one done. So I've done three, well I've, well I've done I've done four now, but I've done three, um, so that when we put them in, they are going to look quite nice, um, all lined up. What I also thought of doing is, um, if I wasn't going to put these into an album, I, is just put a little hole in here and maybe um, a an eyelet, and then just hanging some like a book dangle off the end there. That was just something I thought of. So that's the first one. So the second one, which is this one here, um, which gives you that nice acetate um, wind viewing window in there, like so. Now, I think what I did on the... I, I like the idea. I did it really quickly, so I'm going to change a few bits as we go along. But I just liked it that you could... Um, move that around so what I will do on the next one is leave this top bit here between the paper and the acetate pocket open so that you could then put a photo in there um, I I um, stuck it down by accident so so we're going to do that one so that's the same principle as what we've done there now I why didn't I do one this is what I prepared earlier never works out like that does it so we're going to do it the same way so we're going to do our first two score lines so one at six and a quarter and then one at five and three quarters turn it round and do one your score line at six just fold that down so that's all you need to really do with oh no one more thing you needed to do if I put that away on this one I'm gonna have a pull out credit card slot so this one is going to pull out um, of the book so but you can have it either way so if you didn't want it um, on this side you could put it on that side instead <laughs> yeah you will see it I won't I promise I won't tidy anything away Jill I promise I'll leave it as is yes yeah, not um it is very tight very very messy right so we are only going to cut up now I think what we do we'll cut this side off first so I'm going to cut down the centers again just to cut off that excess um, part there between the two pages like so don't worry if you do go over your line because you can rectify that with your tape so that's one side so that side there I'm going to leave this one here I'm going to cut off um, um, an inch now you can do it a little bit more or a little bit I wouldn't do it any less than one inch because you, um, you really want that one inch um, sort of header for your pull out so taking that off there so that is the main part done so bring in my die now on these dies they come in they're quite big dies so these dies have got the photo slots um, taken out of them so you can then put you a three by four photo in them 
they do look really really nice um it's what i used on my graphic 45 entry uh, album and they they just work really nice i'm really really pleased with them so they come with you get five dies in this so you get the um, outside edge so you get your mat and then the layer is then the photo slot dies but they can be used separately uh, if you want to now the reason why this one here hasn't got this hole out is because it was going to be a bit of a waste really because I thought well we've all got um, hole punches so we've put the hole in the mat, the mat uh, layer so that you can then just line up your hole punch and then punch it out that way um, but they do look really really nice so this nice set is there are a few more coming I've got a few more um, in production at the moment uh, different styles so this one is the scalloped and your fishtail and you also get um, your um, reinforcers as well so you've got four you've got a die here with three four reinforcers so that you can cut out the two in one swipe so we are going to use this one now let me just check I'm not sure if this one will be get that off I'm going to put it on really really well there we go not sure yes this one's just that little bit bigger with the fishtails I couldn't use that one but you have to try these things so this one will fit on our page like so but before I then cut that out we do need to get the pattern paper now at the minute um, I'm just going to use this one which is a craft o'clock one um, from that's crafty I did put up a link a few weeks ago on their um, papers that they had they were having a huge sale and um, yeah they were beautiful so I, I kind of bought these ones from there so this one is called the force of gentleness and um, it's just a, a like grey brown vintage brown and pops of yellow colour it's really really nice so I thought I would use that one on this so let's have a look let's use that one I think so cutting these down so you'll need to cut down to five and seven eighths by five and five eighths so I'm going to have this side I want this side on my die on my picture so I'm going to cut this so the lengthways one is five and five eighths and then this one is five and seven eighths like so so then that will go on to my page like so now you can either ink the edges with some distress inks that would look really nice actually some mm, black i don't know that Alexa. so let's try the black and see what that looks like let's see what it looks like sometimes i just use a pen but that's looking quite nice on the side there it looks quite good what would look nice with this is also some black stitching would look lovely I have bought actually and it was um, an idea that I saw uh, Jenny Marple was using and um, it was one of those stitch wheels I don't think that's what they're called and um, you run it along your paper and then go around with a black pen and hi Marisol, hi! Um, and it just creates like a faux stitched edge. It's fantastic. So I've actually bought one, but it's in my post box. I haven't actually got to get it yet. I was going to use it tonight, but uh, time just ran away. 
so that's my edges ink now I quite like that it just then sets off the edges rather than just using your pen so let's find that elusive glue and we can stick this on now doesn't matter how many times you open it it still ends up clogged I have worked out it's only taken me 25 years I have worked out that if you fill your little pots up near enough full it tends to not dry out as much I don't know why uh, it just doesn't so let's just stick that on like so there there we go so it looks really nice I love it really nice colors just makes a change so getting my die work out where you want it like so I'm gonna have it there now, I have got now I will need to take some of the sticky off of this because this is really sticky so a bit more thank you everybody for joining me it's really really nice it's um yeah it's really made my day I was thinking oh I'm only going to have about one person so thank you everybody and I really really do appreciate it and I hope I'm doing okay and that you're enjoying it right so I'm just going to bring in my die cutting machine now sorry I'm going old school tonight I, I love this little Jane Davenport one it's um, really really nice so how I'm going to do this because we don't want to go down um, at the see through the back I'm not going to do that we are going to put that on like so and I'm going to just bring this around this side like so and I'm going to really hopefully do it really carefully it does work I promise I did try it and it did work. I'm just going to bring it right over to the edge, like so, and then we can go through. Does everybody else's die cutting machine really, really squeak? It's really squeaky. I'm just going to go through again. So let me put this back out of the way and take this out, that out, and then you've got a nice tag that's cut out, and then you've got that aperture that you can then put your acetate on. So with the acetate, I've actually already cut mine out, or what cut one side out, but the acetate is the same size as the paper. So it is five and seven eighths by five and five eighths. So it's a quite nice, easy measurement. And the acetate that I'm using is um, just um overhead projector acetate I'm sorry I'm just gonna have to have a drink oh hi Leah hi all the way from Washington hello hello lovely to have you here right so um with the acetate so I've cut it to um of the same size so then it will um fit on there nicely like so so move this out of the way again now I am going to use a bit of double sided tape to initially stick it down but if you've got um, 
finger marks on your acetate if you use um, isopropyl alcohol and just a lint-free cloth they will come off a treat and they really really will hi Linda how are you oh really sunny there yeah we've had a lovely sunny day here in the UK today it's been really really nice although um, my grass is like a jungle because um, my lawnmower is not um, is up the creek um, and oh, I don't know what's what what's happened with it I'm sure it's a jinx lawnmower I really do so my grass is a, a foot high so Jill bring bring your wellies and your um, your safari hat when you come because you'll need it so now I've got no I don't know if you can see there they've kind of all disappeared and I have got a few um, dents in this but because that will be behind I'm not too worried about it but then that just really brings any finger marks or anything off your acetate so little tip top tip so double-sided tape and I'm just going to put the double-sided tape just where you've got the longer bits here and uh, and i'm not putting it right to the edge because our acetate doesn't go right to the edge but it's just probably about a quarter of an inch in like so and like so i have to say a special thanks to savannah my daughter because she's really 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 helped me um get this all um, up and running um, she um, made me my screen um, overlay as well so I'm really um, I'm really really grateful to her she's really done a good job um, yeah the actual pattern uh, around the edge is actually um, a bigger version um, of my little flower that I've got that she's drawn that normally goes above my name as well so that's all my double sided tape now I'm going to just burnish those down now I have done in, my, in the past in my videos I have shown how um, how important it is when to burnish your tape because if you have got some red liner tape and you put your red liner tape on your card you will see that it doesn't actually stick so if you burnish it you're pushing out all those air bubbles um, out of that tape so it really does create a really good bond and it heats up the tape as well and that's a good thing as well because then it that it gets more um, sticky so I'm just going to take the rest of these off like so this is where when you do a video this is where I can speed it up but this is coming on rather quickly and I love this little pot of mine I've got a little my little ice cream pot I'm just going to put all my rubbish in and it keeps my desk tidy because I was fed up of having a really really messy desk right so that's then all the double sided tape now just round these edges here sorry not edges just round the um, inner bits here I'm just going to add a little bit of glue just so that it sticks down fully and then line it up and push down right. oh. I knew that was going to happen right there we go there. Okay, push that in and there we go push that down and then this your tag is going to fit in the top there so then that hides that little um, aperture window there like so so but I'm not going to put that in just yet what I'm going to do, just make sure that's all stuck Right, so so on the back now you can either put the same pattern underneath 
so that it hides it like so if you want to so that you've got um, that there let me just move that up a bit and you can see that the glare I'm, I'm good here Linda how are you what have you been up to today so um, I think I may ooh, what's that one I think I might go with just the, the lemon there like so right let's go with the lemon so to cut this out again just that same five and seven eighths by five and five eighths like so and we can then position that on the back so I'm going to put my tape exactly the same places that I've put the double sided tape apart from at the top here I'm going to leave the top open because what I'm going to do is use this as the front part of my um, so that you've got a little time you've got a pocket then in between there that will you'll be able to put like a little photograph or something in there is my reckoning so down like that and across so just give those a burnish now take the tape off Now I do apologise in a minute if my dogs start barking. Somebody's just come into the house but they're being really really good. They're actually underneath my desk here. So uh, with this we're going to just position that on the top just covering that double sided tape that you've put down like so then bring that up and then you've still got a little pocket there that you can put something through now the only thing I did with my other one was I did put this a little brad in to anchor it down I'm not going to on this one I'm going to leave it um, open like that only because then I don't want to um, cut down my pocket size in there so I'm just going to put my magnets on the back here so four magnets for this because I'm going to use two two just so that it, it anchors it really really well in place so put them on Oh, I hate ironing. Oh, rather you than me, Linda. Oh, hi, Laurie. Oh, rainy afternoon in there. Oh, good. Oh, good. I'm glad that you're enjoying this. I'm really, really glad. I was. I didn't know what to do this morning. I was like thinking, oh, and then the, the sort of the doubt comes in, doesn't it? You think, oh, is it going to be okay? Is people going to find it quite interesting? Um, so hopefully you are. So hopefully... So that's my two magnets on the back. Now I'm just going to position that so that is it will fit in because there's a little tiny ridge obviously in there where because this is your paper and cardstock. So there's a little, little tiny ridge. So I'm just going to bring that over very gently. And then with these, I'm not going to actually put any of the tape on. I'm going to just leave them like so and put them with some glue actually yeah it's what I'm going to do to keep them on like so and 
of like so oh, luckily that found that space and then what I will do is just add some just clear tape over the top if I can get it off and then we can maybe put a little band or something across there if I use some clear tape it won't be so much in your face to see it like so and they're stuck so then you can just lift this off and put it back on and it will snap back into place like so so just to cover that I can just use a off cut here so you could make a a nice pocket um, with that but or just a little like a belly band there I'm just trying to think I might move that down a bit so I can see that so there that's better so we could either put it like that or have a nice black border might be quite nice and then have that more as a little um, pocket let's do that so I think this I'm going to cut this at so this one will be cut at five and three quarters so it's just an, an eighth of an inch off and then this one is what is that so that's two and five eighths so this one would be two and a half by your five and no right uh, right this one needs to be five and five eighths get this right yeah I'm just double checking yeah double check yeah so that's five and five eighths sorry got my um, measurements wrong there so your black cardstock is five and five eighths and then this one will be five and a half just double check there we go I think I got that bit wrong it always happens right try it again I've got another piece here maybe uh, what have we got here? Let's use that piece. That's nice, actually. Hmm. That piece. I could go with the smaller piece, like so. So, measure, 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 measure. So. So five and five eighths, and then that's five and a half. I think I didn't do. I think I must have cut it a different width. I'm gonna cut it at. Oh, I did cut it at that. Hmm, that's odd. That one. What did I cut that one at? This is one. Oh, that's why, because this is I cut this at five and three eighths. So let's try this one. So five and a half. That's better. And that is two and one eighth. This needs to be two and a quarter. Now I'm hoping this is gonna be just enough yeah there we go we got there in the end okay I'm just going to ink the edges here while I ink okay so then we can put this on so stick it all together always always okay there we are 
burnish that down. Now I am going to just use some glue just to secure the edges like so and burnish that down. Now I may even, I think, make this into a pocket. Okay. There we are. So then that is a tiny pocket and then we can then use, just put some little tiny bits in there that we want. Now to attach it now to the bottom here I'm going to put some more magnets and this is how I'm going to do it. Now this time I can use our double side, um, our black tape. So just use one of them. I'm going to put it up this way. Let it find its natural stick. That's one. I'll move that round so I can get the other one on the same thing. No. Thought I might have been able to, but not. So let's stick that down. So. Now the reason I've used so many is because there's quite a lot of cardstock and pattern paper in between the layers there. So I actually just wanted it make, to really make sure that they would um, stick and it wouldn't come apart. And Because sometimes the magnets will lose their polarity, That's the, I can't say that word, and um, yeah they just won't stick so... It's good to just um, maybe over may, maybe over egg them. There we go. So that now is going to stick and it's not going to come up come apart like so. So then that is your flap down with a little pocket in there. And because this pocket is quite it's quite tight, um, you will be able to put um, quite some nice things in there. Let me cut this bit down. And then that will fit in, and then it's not going to fall out. So that's near enough one side. So we'll just put the pattern paper along that bit. I'm going to use that. I love this one here, it's really nice. They've got um, like some jungle leaves in this one as well, which is lovely. I really like that one. Yeah, it's a nice paper uh, collection, this one. Um, I like um, craft o'clock papers, I think they're really good, they're really good for album making, really good for mixed media as well. So just make sure I've got my measurements correct. So this needs to be the six and seven, um, five and seven eighths, because that's going downwards. And then this one needs to be the five and five eighths. And that's going across. That can go on there. Okay, I think the edges is going. Now, if you didn't, um, you could use, if you didn't have any distress inks, you could use if you've got memento inks or um, if you wanted to use. Um, archival, versifying, all of those are fine. If you use versifying just make sure you give it a little waft before um, you put it down because it will be it can be a little bit um, slow to dry. Or you could just use I've sometimes well, I use um, just a watercolor um, felt tip or the distress inks um, they work really well as well. And I've got memento memento do some uh, felt tips as well and they are um, a really good um, brand to use as well. So make sure we get this on. So let's put them down. Yeah they're lovely aren't they? They're really pretty. I love um, craft. 
I love all of the Polish papers and, and Eastern European papers. They they have just got something. Um, they they just have. They're just um, lovely um, papers to use. There we go. I thought that had come off with it. So that's our one side. So now we've got this side here. What are we on? Okay, got plenty of time. So um, I can just quickly, um, yeah, we'll quickly just stick this together so that it's stuck down. So it's just um, securing the edges on this one. There we go. And this pe this tape is really good. You can fold it and bend it um, as well. And it does seem to um, get the creases out quite easily as well. And it's matte. Oh, I love matte. I don't like glossy ones. So let's do the other side. So... Another favourite of mine is Minte. Um, I'm loving their papers at the moment. I did. Um, I used the Christmas one um, of theirs, which is a Merry Little Christmas on the exploding box, and that was uh, a joy to use because it is quite clean and. Um, well, I call it clean paper rather than it's not got a lot of grungy bits in it. But yeah, you're right as well, Jill. With the craft o'clock papers, you get all the extra bits as well, which I've got here. Um, so I've got, for this collection, I bought the chipboard pieces. And they also do this um, junk journal extra sets as well. And they did another set, but I think it was sold out, where you get... Um, like little cut apart pieces that you can cut out. Let's quickly have a look at this. Have a five minute look. Right. So, um, so you get like this is like a little tag holder, little tuck spot. Another, sorry, not tag holder. This is, these are like um, file folders. Um, diagonal pockets another bigger tuck spot there and they're double sided as well so on the backs of them you've got just your pattern paper and these are, these are nice as well these are like little envelopes and here's some cut apart pieces that we'll probably use and a bit more a few here some lovely borders files um, tabs yeah, so they, they're, but there are other ones as well, not just um, these, um, the junk journal bits. They do other bits as well. So, that and that. So, we can put that to side and bring in the one that I've done somewhere. It's like looking in a, Aladdin's cat. It just goes missing. So that's the one we're working on. Right. If you can see it, shout out. There we go. So um, with this one, um, this is the pull out waterfall. Now I've done it a bit differently where you've got, um, t I've used the tags instead of normal watercolour, um, watercolour, waterfall um segments now i also i did it from the top here i'm just thinking now i could have done it from that way which would have looked just as good if i'd have done it the going that way so if you do try this instead of closing this side off here you could close the top off and then um cut this bit off and then you could have a side waterfall rather than one that goes down but if you didn't want to use tags, you can, as I say, just cut your rectangles and um, just use that as a normal waterfall. I'm just going to have another drink. Oh, 
I was debating whether or not um, to have had a, a nice G&T, um, but I thought Sunday, bank holiday tomorrow, yeah, I could have done, I suppose, but I thought water will be good for my first time, and because I'm a bit nervous, I thought first time will be um, just water. Maybe next time we'll have a G&T. So, to do this waterfall, pull out waterfall, so you'll need two pieces of cardstock, and they need to measure both do both of them at five and so both are on the same size as what you've done been doing before so five and seven eighths by five and five eighths and this one five and five eighths like so now one piece we are going to cut down now I'm going to cut it down beforehand or afterwards now I'm going to cut it down after so for the both of these two we need to give them a score line of one inch now the score line is only one inch for this one if you're going to do this in your journal in your albums or journals your pocket opening at the top here denotes the size of your header on your um, your pull out so if you did a two inch um, if you did a pocket and then you had a two inch opening at the top you need to make sure that your um, pull out this header bit is that two inches so one two and then they're going to fit together like so now what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to just give them a decorated edge a corner sorry if I can find what I've done with it there we go so you can round the corners you can leave them um, straight like this I'm just going to give them um, a nice decorative feature so I've stuck the two together and hopefully I can cut them together two so that's the two like so and then we can go ahead and just stick this top bit down so where you've got your score line this needs you need to put your glue it needs to go all the way over that like so you could use double sided tape as well oh oh linda yeah i know they were really popular now i bought those robo robot papers when i was in ireland at 14th craft bar and because i saw them then i loved them absolutely loved them so when i used them on my little house project i kind of i thought i really like these and i want to reuse them on um yeah i don't know if they might have still have some in uh, jill but when um i um obviously used all of them i, I just did a, a search and they come up on that's crafty and because they've had their sale on i got them at very at a steal so i kind of bought about three or four of the um eight by eights um to sort of use so for future projects because i've got another project in mind for them so that is then the pull out so if i was to put that into my book which is this one here that will fit quite snugly now if you wanted to you could um, just cut down your back piece here by an eighth of an inch on either side and then you it would would slot in a lot easier um, but if I, if I show you then you can see what I mean so I'm just going to cut as I say an eighth of an inch off so one side now I'm only going to go up to this top part here 
so don't go any further so you're just cutting the back board off so an eighth of an inch that side as well like so and then I'll use my scissors and cut that on off cut that off there and then and then it doesn't matter um, that it's cut off because you won't you don't see it at the back at the front so if we put it in there you see how much more easier it does it kind of fits in there now for the top here you could do lots of different things you could um, put some holes in and use um, some ribbon to um, close it off as well that looks really nice or you could put some brads on or buttons lots of different things so I'm going to round these bottom corners here only because I like rounded corners if I can find it there it is there we go so around the bottom ones and then I'll cut out some tags now one two and put that in that's my old one there we go this one I'll just stick them in there so we know what it is so I it took three tags on here and but you could just use a, as I say, rectangle piece on there. Because how I stuck them on is I used uh, like little construction hinges as well to stick the um, little tags on. But I'll get the tag. Now my new my new dies that are going to come are going to be a different colour. Um, than this this was I picked this color but it came I wasn't happy with it so we've changed the color of the dies I have got some here that um, are again in production and coming very very soon with the new color so I'm hoping that you're gonna like it I'll show you at the end I can't keep I'm terrible I can't keep a secret I get too excited. Right, just checking that's going to fit. So this is just um, an odd bit of card. Now, there we go. Lost it. I think I've lost it for tonight. There we go. That goes in there. Squeak, squeak. that's two I will cut one more out and then you can see I just do two at once and it's cut this and say quite thick card and it's cut them out she says where did the other one go I'm going mad Oh, it's in, <laughs> it's in there. Ah, oh, dear. Right, so that's the other one. As you can see, they've cut out really, really well. I'm really, really pleased with them. So. There we go. So that's the second lot. Move that again out the way. Like that. Oh, and I need my trimmer back. So for the um, construction hinges, um, you just need. I'm just going to um, cut a one-inch strip off of here. And I think I made them at four 
on one eight. I'll just double check. So at four and yeah, four and one eighth I made them. So you might need another one. So four and one eighth. No, wrong one. Four and one eighth. Four and one eighth. So that's two, and then we'll just do this last one. Okay. Then we just need to give the a half an inch score line. like so that's just it doesn't matter too much if it isn't level but I'm not going to use that one so that's two just cut this one more give that a one inch is anybody crafting along uh, with me? Are they crafting at home as well while they're watching? Um, or are you sitting and watching the telly um, as you've got me on in the background? Because that's what I want to try and do is maybe just do these craft alongs where we can craft along together and you've maybe got somebody chatting away in the background, just crafting along. Sometimes it's nice you can just look up and see, oh, they've got on, they've got quite far on that. Oh, how did they do that? And, um, so it's quite nice to to do. I saw it on, um, there's a lady that I've been watching, I don't know if anybody knows of a um, site called Twitch. And it's mainly for gamers, but um, there's a lady on there um who does crafting and she does um she does um lots of different crafts and she's been doing uh, memory books and she did the Alice in Wonderland one a few weeks ago and um she just crafts along and um chats away and it, it was really really nice and I thought well I don't know if we've got anything like that on Facebook so I thought well maybe I'll give it a try and see what um everybody you know if they like it or not so um so that's yeah what I've been doing Oh, you're crafting. Oh, so what you're you're making your mini albums, aren't you, Sarah? Yeah, you'll have to put picture up and uh, and show us what your what your um, progress is so far. So I've done my three construction hinges. Now, work out which way you want your tags to open. Now you could do them actually where they um, go like that. That might be a nice nice idea let's bring that in let's see what that looks like so that there that might look quite nice coming to no I think they have to go that one way like so there right so they're going to go that way I'm just going to use some glue because then I can give it a squidge and this paper is or the this cardstock that I've got is a uh, is coordinations um cardstock I've had for years um when it first came came out they used to buy it by the uh, one sheet of 12 by 12 and I've got loads of it and um it's got a the texture on one side and it's smooth on the other now I hate the textured side so I try and cover that as much as I can um, a lot of people like it but I'm I, I'm not a fan I prefer the ultra smooth side but with the coordinations when you um, rip this you haven't got the white core inside it is the color of the cardstock so what I'm doing and I've just realized what I've done wrong chatting away right I've cut the wrong die out I knew I'd do something like that I need to use the bigger die I'm sure I used the bigger die on the other one 
where did it go? Did I or didn't I? Yes, I did. Oh, fiddle. Right, so just rewind all of that and I will just quickly recut them. But I can reuse those dies somewhere else, but uh, that was chatting away. I wasn't, wasn't watching what I was doing. Right, so I'll do two at once. Put these in and cut them again. See, if I do, when I do my YouTube videos, if I do mistakes like this, sometimes I leave them in, sometimes I, I don't. Um, I can just take them out. But there we go. Let me just get four out. There. So there's two. Oh, there we go. Rushing didn't do. Let's right. Move that down and restart. There we go. Get my work out as well. So that is two. I need to do one more. Now what I think I might do with this is if you do if anybody decides to make it what do you think would be a good thing to put them in give me some ideas what you think would be a good idea because we could put them into an album and put them side by side and then just use them as signatures or we could put them into a box and have like a memory box or we could put them into a filing um file type box as well that might be a good eye a good thing there we go one two three four if anybody's got any ideas please let me know right so let's re-glue this now the glue that I'm using in this is the is pin flare. Um, I love pin flare glue; it's really nice. The other glue that I really really like is the sticks to um, the 3D glue. Um, I don't know what I've done with the box. There we go. So it's this one here. Um, this is really good as well. Um, but I had loads of pin flare, so I thought, right, let's use the pin flare first. Right, so what I've done is I've stuck the um, construction hinge to the side of the tag. Now, work out where you want your head to go, whether you want it up here or this side. And the hinge goes as just level with the top of the tag. So I will just add a little bit more glue on there so that it's not dry and then the first one so you bend it open so the first one is going to go where just underneath that scored line that you've done now I'm just going to move it over that's why it's good to use the glue because you can then position it where you want it and pin flare glue is really good because it does stick down quite quickly there we are Push that down so that's one so put the two now the two the second one is going to go just underneath so you what you could do which might be an easy way let's try it this way is put your construction tape hinge down onto your card first push it over so that it's level with that one that you've just put down push it down and then I might just put a bit of double sided tape just so that I can get it to stick straight away and then add some glue there as well for the wiggle 
I've just stuck my finger with the pokey tool. It's not a very good thing to do. There we go. Push that over. Right. Just add some glue on top of that. And then we can stick this in place. Yeah, that's a nicer and easier way to do it. And then push that down. Make sure that lines up. There we go. So that's two. We've got one more. And we put the glue on there. I think next week um, I'll probably get something ready. I think I. This is my thought process yesterday. I've been wanting to do lives for probably a couple of years, and it takes me a while. I have to get up my confidence and to do something like this. I know I do YouTube, but YouTube, if I make a mistake or my words don't come out completely as uh, they should do um, I can then I can edit it whereas with live you can't so I think that's where I thought uh, I, I won't be good enough I won't be able to do it you know I'm a, my own worst enemy but then I thought I thought well if I just say right I'm going to do a live and do it tomorrow I'll have to do it and I can't really then back out so that was why I haven't had anything planned so I thought right I'm going to just do it and then we'll just go for, uh, just roll with it so next week I'll probably be a bit bit more organized so so that is then your waterfall with your tags now in my head now I wishing I'd had it going this way but never mind that's just the way it is now I'm going to put the let's go sort of the, let's get this one back out this is it no nope, that's the old one new one so with the first one I did so with the demo piece the one that I did I actually put the closure onto the pocket here I'm actually not going to do that I'm going to put it on to this part here so it's actually onto the pull out so one of the ones that I cut out which come out of the four I'm just going to use that as the closure so I'm going to score this down at about so score it at two inches like so pull that over and that's going to go underneath like that so that's then you're going to become your closure so I'm going to just glue this whole bottom bit here and just by eye it so I'm going to make sure that the scored edge is just lined up with this the edge the bottom edge of your paper or cardstock okay blanish that down and then pull that over and then that's your closure so I'm going to use three magnets on this one now again you don't have to use magnets because what you could do um, so you don't need to use so many because what you could do is attach this to your pocket I just wanted it all to be taken out so that you can take it all out and that's still closed as you've taken it out but and also it gives you a different um, a different look as well oh well, okay I'll go and have a look at that in a second oh all right I could go and have a look where did you post it Sarah What I'll do is I can put it on stream if you like. So push that up. There we go. So 
so that that's all closed now but what I'm going to do is add another one just underneath here to keep this closed or, or do I need it no I'm actually going to leave it like that you could if you want to add another magnet underneath and then that would keep it closed down if you wanted it to oh okay okay let's have a look let me see if I can get it up. So, it's taking forever. I don't know what's wrong with my. Never find anything. Oh, I like very nice. I love those papers that you've used as well, uh, Sarah. They're really, really nice. Lovely. Oh, right. So. If anybody else posts their things in uh, my group, I can then click on and then have a look at them. So I don't know if you can put um, pictures on the comments here. I'm not sure if you could do that. Um, right, so we've then got that closed. So I, what I'll do is I'll cut a couple of the um, layers for the this uh, waterfall feature and then get that thing then I'll get this finished so let's pick some paper oh I might use that so I'm going to use this one so that and that I think they would look nice together so I'm going to put two together and cut two at the same time is the time right I'll probably go for another 20 minutes and then whatever we don't get done we can maybe finish next week or finish off uh, offline and then I can post some pictures so I'm gonna do this because I'm just gonna cut this down to five she says I'll find where I'll put that move those out of there I wish I could be more organised. Probably say it's there, it's there, it's there. There it is. Knew it was somewhere. So let's cut that down to if I did it four. Right, so if I cut that at four, I should get two lots out of that one piece of paper. So, cut it that way. So, let's see if I can cut out four at once. Probably being a bit over generous, but you never know. Let's see. Hoping it didn't slip. No. Wow. So we've cut, managed to cut three. So that's not bad, that's quite good. The third one, there we go. Just needs to cut that bit off. So it didn't go through the fourth, but it cut through three. So that was that's quite good going for a time. So a 
and these have got um, release holes as well built in there we go so then you get your die uh, so you layer on the top and then once you get your pattern paper on I think and your projects just come to life or oh, it's like when you put your first stroke of paint on your on a blank uh, canvas you know and you just see the possibilities in what you can make uh, I get very excited now you can keep these holes um, that come out and then put them in if you didn't want the tags um, the sort of the, the holes to show now what I've done here is something I shouldn't have done right because these have got little photo slots in them don't do what I've done and go um, willy-nilly with all your glue just go round the outside of the edges and then through the middle and then down the side, down the middle um, long ways because you want that to be able to get your photo in there so I'm just going to put that on like so now I'm going to cut out let me just get some cardstock and we want to clean so that'll go nice and as I said these will take a four by three photo four by three so it's a nice photo size and all you do is just slot them in like so and like so and then you've got your photo in there or a journaling spot um, in there as well so they are re uh, they are so I'm just so pleased with them I, I just I just got so excited when I got them I really did I just thought oh yeah now I thought did I have oh there we go, I've got two in there, I wondered why that was a little bit thick, there we go, but as you saw it, it does go in, so, so there's one, and open them up, now you can do one on the back, but I'm just going to go down and put the next one on, but I'm going to do the back side so that it sort of alternates oh they're really good uh, Laurie they're, they're such a good idea they really really are and you can put your photos in you could even um, decorate this um, and then stick it onto your slot but if you didn't want to use the slots and just wanted to mat and layer you could just put your picture over the top and it would hide the slot so it, you won't see that the slots are there so if you didn't want to use them you didn't have to so if you wanted to use this more as for journaling um, you could as I say just um, cut out your 4x3 card and then cover them slots up but I just thought they're handy because you can interchange them as well so well, I've actually done the wrong side So if you didn't know, or um, some, uh, the reason why we ink the edges is because when, um, if you, say for instance, have got a piece of cut paper, paper has got a white core, and I don't know if you can see that, probably not too well, um, so much with this, let's turn it that way, you might on there. So it's got a white core you can just about see it there 
but when you ink the edges that hides that white core and it just gives that more of a continuous look to your project rather than seeing that harsh line going all the way around I mean sometimes I forget to ink uh, I try and do it as, as much as I possibly can but with all things we do forget so that's our next one on like so so just clean my fingers off and these ones are hidden can't see these ones these ones aren't coming I think I think cutting three is too much but we had to try Take that off. I'm all about the trying, so we use this piece here and we check they're all okay. They are. So you, you can also put them in beforehand. That's another way. I normally sometimes do that. Is I'll put my uh, photo or white cardstock in beforehand. So when you turn it over, you can see where your slots are so that you can miss them now this um, tag has still got that circle left in the top there so I'm gonna ink over the top of that I think sorry I'm gonna uh, glue over the top of that and, but I can't because it's the wrong one there we go there we are take that off and then you can put that in and then that will hide it, just about see it maybe. So you can keep it out or put it in, whatever. So that's two. And, and look how that just comes alive. So last one. So I may need to cut another one of these out just quickly because it uh, did not, didn't take. But you've got to try these things. That's what I think crafting is all about, is trying. And because this one didn't cut, we can cut it out of this one. I've had a few bloopers tonight. But I think that's all part and parcel of crafting. We can't all be perfect and do it right first time every time. And I definitely don't. I make so many different mistakes, it's unbelievable. But then you learn, don't you? You learn by your mistakes. Yes, Linda, they're my own dies. Um, they are. They're on the website, and they've just come in not long, not long ago. They're quite a big die as well, um, and you say you get two different, different dies in this set, and there are um, a few more sets. I think there's two more different sets coming out um, that will be coming out very, very shortly. I wanted to see how well these ones did. Um, first before I then reordered the other ones but uh, these ones have been doing really well so I've been really, really um, chuffed with these ones so the other sets will be coming but the next sets will be in a different colour and I will show you those in just a minute so we've got those now this one here um, I could have used that one that we had, but just seeing if I had an off cut there that was going to be about as big as that, but it won't. So let's get another piece of card, a paper, sorry. So we're going to go with... Mm. 
Um, let's use the light. We could either use that, so we use this bit here. That's quite nice. So, just leave that on the desk. So, so with that, so with that one, you could either do the that same die and don't have a border, or you can use this one. But I'll show you what I mean when I say we can just. Um, cover those six slots up so I'm going to do this bottom bit well the top bit there like so and I should have taped it down I think but we'll, we'll go for it quickly this little tiny die cutter I can really seem to get away with not taping things down so So that is the, I'm going to put that on there like so. Now let me just measure that there. So I'm going to cut that down to three and three eighths. That side. Uh, three and three eighths. More up there. Uh, cut and there we go. So then that gives me the perfect layer. So ink the edges. Like so. And then we can put it on. Now I'm going to glue over these glue slots, um, sorry, these photo slots, um, and stick them down. But what we could also do is on here, you could punch this hole out here and add a mini tag on the top there. There's like a swing around, that might be quite good as well. Always happens to get... Um, distress ink on the white card all the time I try to do this right at the last minute but I still end up with it on now I've still got the bits underneath to do because then you can add more photos under there I've got this one here to add I'll just add this one here like so And that's not playing ball. Hold on, let me start that one again. And so, if you find you've glued your slot like I have, and it's not going in, just use a pokey tool and just just pry that slot back open again. So all it is is just the glue has got stuck uh, a little bit on there. But again. Do what I said before and put this in beforehand. Oh, my dogs have just decided to wake up. I think they've noticed that um, Savannah has a friend here and they uh, um, managed to sneak in without them knowing. I think she's just heard, I think. Maya's just had a talk. They've been very good tonight actually. They have they've not um not barked once which is good. So again just needed to open that out and I'll I'll put a different one in there at a later date but I just wanted to get it in to show you. So that's there. Now we've got this bit to finish um but we can put that in and we've nearly, we've, we've done a lot, so we've done quite a bit in two hours really, we've done two and that and chatted as well. But I think what I'll do is I'll leave it there 
and um, we can maybe finish the rest of this next week as we can finish we will need to obviously cover it all up and things like that um, yeah don't forget my dies are in are online now as well as my new stamps I haven't even had a chance to play with these yet but these are the new stamps that um, come out and they work in conjunction with these dies and they're called snap-on now the reason I call them snap-on is because that you snap a photograph so you snap on um, so you put your photos onto the dies but if you didn't want to use a photo on there these actually um, are sized to fit on that four by three now I've got some here that I did get out and I've done earlier so you can actually make your own size tags and then um, position them on so they're all interchangeable um, so we've got some little images down here that you can put at the top then we've got the your months of the year and the days as well so you can have a special day on there and then we've got some a few borders on here as well the next stamps that have come out again are coming out um, should be able to... are coming out quite soon and they will have a few more borders on them um, as well so you then choose your border you can then choose which um, thing what you want to write on so whether you want to put a date place and names or um, whether you want to put date and location you can use them as tags like to or from if you want to make your gift tags as well and then we've got one down here that says date and place and people because I find that especially on photographs you take a photograph and if you don't write there and then who's in that photograph in 20 years time somebody's going to say who's this and you're not going to know so i always find it's nice to put your um people in that photograph oh lovely thanks laurie thanks for joining me i really really enjoyed your company thank you so have a nice night or morning um where you are um so there there's these are a couple of things i've done so um i've got memory lane and again i've added the heart border there and just done some few different things here now I did these before I had the dies in stock so that's why these ones are longer but this one I've used embossing powders on that um, as well and just left that inside bit blank um, and then just added different things on there and these are based on your uh, old vintage luggage tags uh, I just really like that idea and thought it'd be a good idea to try and do something like that so that's what these the, the stamps are and they will fit as i say in that three by um three by four uh, on there so um i've got some design a design team and they are on it at the minute to make different things with these so right with that i really hope you've enjoyed it i've been, i've enjoyed my first live and i've done my, i'm coming up here because this is where my telly is i so i should look there i should maybe move this across and then I'll be able to see so let's move you this way there we go big better size and I'm just move me down a bit and then there we go move me up a bit and I can see so there we go um so that's better yeah so I really really hope you've enjoyed um tonight I've really really enjoyed um doing it it's been really good fun it's been nice to have your company and um so many people that joined as well so it was really really nice so thank you very much for supporting me enjoy the rest of your evening and at uh, the bank holiday if you're in the uk um tomorrow and also next week will be our king's coronation so enjoy that as well so lovely to see you all and um, i will see you again next week bye bye Hi, bye doreen bye